Hey everyone, it's Alex again, and I am back with another 88th Academy Awards update video. Today I'm here to bring you the contenders for Best Original Score. Like the Best Original Song category, Best Original Score is decided upon by the members of the music branch, and once the nominations are out, the entire Academy membership is eligible to vote in the category. So, what is an original score in the eyes of the Academy? Let's find out. From the Academy Rulebook, an original score is a substantial body of music that serves as original dramatic underscoring and is written specifically for the motion picture by the submitting composer. And here's how a score is eligible, and the same eligibility rules that applied for Best Original Song apply to Best Original Score. The work must be created specifically for the eligible feature-length motion picture, the work must be the result of a creative interaction between the filmmaker and the composer and or songwriters who have been engaged to work directly on the motion picture. The work must be recorded for use in the motion picture prior to any other usage, including public performance or exploitation through any media whatsoever. Only the principal composer or songwriter responsible for the conception and execution of the work as a whole shall be eligible for an award. Expressly excluded from eligibility are all of the following. Number one, music supervisors. Number two, partial contributors, i.e. any writer not responsible for the overall design of the work. Number three, contributors working on speculation. Number four, producers and or arrangers not responsible for the creation of the original song or score. And now for score specifically, here are some very important uh, ways in which it cannot be eligible. A score shall not be eligible if, number one, it has been diluted by the use of pre-existing music, number two, it has been diminished in impact by the predominant use of songs or any music not composed specifically for the film by the submitting composer, or number three, it has been assembled from the music of more than one composer. No more than one statuette will normally be given in the original score category. A second statuette may be awarded when two composers function as equal collaborators in producing the score, each contributing a substantial amount of original music for the film. So if one composer was working on the movie but then left the project and then another composer came on to finish the work, they both would not be able to get nominated because there would have to be a lengthy determination process to determine whose score it is truly. However, if two composers worked on a score together and they both contributed equally to the score, then they both can get nominated. And then finally, since this is one of those categories where the contenders have to actually submit their, submit their work in order to be eligible in the first place, uh, same with Best Original Song, Submissions may be made prior to the film's Los Angeles County qualifying run, but must be made no later than 60 days after such opening, or by 5 p.m. Pacific Time on Wednesday, December 2, 2015, whichever comes first. The composer's on-screen credit and submission form, as well as the actual cue sheet for the music as used in the film and supplied by the film company, shall be used by the Music Branch Executive Committee to help determine the eligibility of the score. And this year, uh, 112 scores have been deemed eligible by the Academy's Music Branch for the Best Original Score category. And it's time to find out what those scores are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out all the names of the scores and their composers in alphabetical order by movie, because as you'll see on this list, there are several composers on here who have submitted more than one score. There's nothing in the rules that says a composer can't be nominated more than once, but with 112 scores, they both have to be exceptionally good for both of them to get nominated. So here are the scores that are eligible this year. <clears throat> Adult Beginners by Marcelo Zarbos. The Age of Adeline by Rob Simonson. Altered Minds by Edmund Choi. Alvin and the Chipmunks The Road Chip by Mark Mothersbow. Anomalisa by Carter Burwell. Ant Man by Christoph Beck. Beasts of No Nation by Dan Romer. 
The Big Short by Nicholas Brittell, Black Mass by Tom Holkenborg, Bridge of Spies by Thomas Newman, Brooklyn by Michael Brook, Burnt by Rob Simonson, By the Sea by Gabriel Yared, Carol by Carter Burwell, Cartel Land by H. Scott Salinas and Jackson Greenberg, Chirac by Terence Blanchard, Cinderella by Patrick Doyle, Coming Home by Chi Gong Chen, Concussion by James Newton Howard, Creed by Ludwig Göransson, The Danish Girl by Alexander Despla, The Divergent Series Insurgent by Joseph Trapanese, Duktar by Peter Nashel, The End of the Tour by Danny Elfman, Everest by Dario Marianelli, Ex Machina by Ben Salisbury, and Jeff Barrow. Far from the Matting Crowd by Craig Armstrong, Fifty Shades of Grey by Danny Elfman, Five Flights Up by David Newman, Frame by Frame by Patrick Johnson, Freedom by James Lavino, Furious Seven by Brian Tyler, The Golden Dream by Jacobo Lieberman and Leonardo Highbloom, The Good Dinosaur by Michael Dana and Jeff Dana, Goosebumps by Danny Elfman, Grandma by Joel P. West, The Hateful Eight by Ennio Morricone, He Named Me Malala by Thomas Newman, Hot Pursuit by Christoph Beck, Hot Tub Time Machine 2 by Christoph Beck, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 by James Newton Howard, The Hunting Ground by Miriam Cutler, I Smile Back by Zach Ryan, I'll See You in My Dreams by Keegan DeWitt, In the Heart of the Sea by Roque Banos, Inside Out by Michael Giacchino, The Intern by Theodore Shapiro, it Follows by Disasterpiece, Jalam by Wish Pashan, Jurassic World by Michael Giacchino, Kingsman The Secret Service by Henry Jackman and Matthew Margeson, Krampus by Douglas Pipes, The Lady in the Van by George Fenton, The Last Witch Hunter by Steve Jablonski, Learning to Drive by Danny Harrison and Paul Hicks. Legend by Carter Burwell. Little Accidents by Marcelo Zarvos. The Longest Ride by Mark Isham. Mad Max Fury Road by Tom Holkenborg. The Man from Uncle by Daniel Pemberton. The Martian by Harry Gregson Williams. Max by Trevor Rabin. Maze Runner The Scorch Trials by John Paisano, Maru by J. Rolfe, Minions by Hytor Pereira, Mr. Holmes by Carter Burwell, Mistress America by Dean Wareham and Britta Phillips, My All-American by John Paisano, Nakom Ia Kumpasar by Ronnie Monserrate, 99 Homes by Anthony Pardos and Matteo Zingales. Our Brand is Crisis by David Wingo. Pan by John Powell. Paper Towns by Sun Lux. Paranoid Girls by Javier Del Santo. Pawn Sacrifice by James Newton Howard. The Peanuts Movie by Christoph Beck. Pixels by Henry Jackman. Poached by Mark Orton. Pod by Gianna Ostinelli, Poltergeist by Mark Streitenfeld, The Prophet by Gabriel Yared, Racing Extinction by J. Ralph, Room by Stephen Rennix, Saltbridge by Marciano Talese, San Andreas by Andrew Lockington, Exo The Second Best Exotic Marigold Hotel by Thomas Newman, Set Fire to the Stars by Gruff Reese. Shaun the Sheep Movie by Ilan Eshkeri. Sicario by Johan Johansson. Southpaw by James Horner. Spectre by Thomas Newman. 
the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water by John Debney, Spotlight by Howard Shore, Spy by Theodore Shapiro, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens by John Williams, Steve Jobs by Daniel Pemberton, Steve McQueen, The Man and Le Mans by Jim Copperthwaite, Stonewall by Rob Simonson, Suffragette by Alexander Desplat, Taken Three by Nathaniel McKayley, Ted Two by Walter Murphy, Testament of Youth by Max Richter, The Thirty Three by James Horner, Tomorrowland by Michael Giacchino, True Story by Marco Beltrami, Trumbo by Theodore Shapiro, Truth by Brian Tyler, Victor Frankenstein by Craig Armstrong. The Walk by Alan Silvestri, The Water Diviner by David Hirschfelder, Wolf Totem by James Horner, and finally Z for Zachariah by Heather McIntosh. So that's a lot of scores to choose from. Uh, scores that have stood out to me, uh, Bridge of Spies that had an excellent score. Uh, the Good Dinosaur, that score was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was absolutely amazing, but it was still very beautiful. Inside Out had a phenomenal score. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road, that had a pretty good score. I wouldn't say it's an Oscar-worthy score, but it's, but it was still good nonetheless. Uh, let me see here. Sicario, that had a pretty haunting score. Spotlight, absolutely beautiful haunting piano score. Uh, Star Wars, you know, it's John Williams. John Williams is always going to have a great score. As for what will be nominated, hmm. uh, I think Star Wars is obviously going to be nominated because John Williams is only second behind Walt Disney as the most Oscar-nominated individual of all time. So, so Star Wars, I think, will be an easy contender. Uh, I haven't seen The Hateful Eight yet, but it's composed by another legendary uh, composer, Ennio Morricone, who famously composed the music for those uh, spaghetti western films of the 1960s, of which Quentin Tarantino is a big fan of. And I guess Ennio Morricone must be a big fan of Quentin Tarantino's work as well, because he's like nearly 90 years old and he's still and he's still making music for one of the most acclaimed directors in the world, who's making his own western, which is a genre that is pretty rare these days. Um, Carol's been getting a lot of nominations for its score. Um, the Danish Girl, I think, could be nominated because Alexander Despla is kind of like his generation's John Williams. Uh, he writes very beautiful, haunting scores. Same with Howard Shore. I mean, Howard Shore can write these big, epic scores. He was the guy responsible for uh, the score from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. But he also knows how to be very soft and subtle, like his uh, wonderful score for the Martin Scorsese film Hugo. And in Spotlight, he just has this very haunting, beautiful piano melody, especially in the opening credits, which uh, really tugs on your heartstrings when you listen to it. I'm a sucker for haunting piano-driven scores, and so is the Academy. Because the Academy, they like big, bold, epic scores, and they also like haunting, slow scores, especially ones that are played primarily on piano. So that's kind of how I'm basing my predictions here. Um, so yeah, so ultimately I think the five nominees in this category will be Star Wars The Force Awakens, The Hateful Eight, Carol, The Danish Girl, and Spotlight. Uh, you know, but, but this can often be quite an unpredictable category to choose from because the Golden Globes, Critics' Choice Awards, BAFTAs, and Oscars They'll agree on some things for Best Original Score, but then each awards show will also throw in a few of their own picks that the other awards shows don't as to who they think is the best score, of the, as to what they think is the best score of the year. So we'll see what happens when Oscar nominations come out in mid-January. Uh, and that's all I have for today for this category, but be sure to check back in the future for more videos. Please comment below. Let me know what scores you want to see nominated and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye.